It was a beautiful night on the island of Sodor. The day's work was done, and the engines puffed safely home. Thomas, whispered Percy, will you tell us the end of the story? You mean the one about Duke, the lost engine? Exactly, said Henry. But please remind us of the story so far. So Thomas began, and here is the rest of the story he told. Duke was old and lived with two young engines called Stuart and Falcon. They teased Duke and called him Grandpuff, but they were happy together. Then their line was closed down and the young engines went away. Duke was left alone in the shed. He went to sleep and everything around him changed. But Duke was never forgotten. Years went by until one day, not long ago, visitors came to see Sir Topham Hatt. We want to find Duke, they said, and make him happy again. Maps lay everywhere. If we follow the old line shown here on the map, they said, we'll travel north of the village and then into the mountains. And look, there's a sign for the old station. If Duke's anywhere, he's there. Everyone set off to the mountains far away. The days went by and the search grew harder, but the rescuers wouldn't give up. Let's go this way, they said, 